Good morning. It is a foggy, foggy Thursday morning. It's sort of halfway between, I mean, it's very foggy, and it's also misting. Like, you know, like, not quite a drizzle. I don't know. There's some precipitation going on. Uh, I'm a little chilly, so I dressed for not, I'm not really wearing a coat or, you know, leg covering. And so I'm, I'm kind of chilly now, but not very because I overheat on my walk every morning anyway. Um, and it's supposed to go up to 69 this afternoon because climate change, what the heck, Pennsylvania weather, what the heck, 70 degrees in February. So that's how we're rolling. Um, and it's been a kind of a lot going on week. I last made a video for you on Monday morning, I believe, and Monday night was family night, but before I got home for family night, I met up with Rabbi Alana Sclover, who continues to be a wonderful human being and is gonna have a baby. I'm so excited. Um, and also like they're buying a house, so everything's going on in her life right now. Um, and she asked me to uh, lead the kids movie night during the GJC Sisterhood Purim Bash. Like they, prom they, they promise that there's kids programming so more adults will come. Um, so I'm running that and the way Alana described it as having gone last year was the kids all showed up in their pajamas and or costumes, um, brought their sleeping bags, watched a movie, uh, had ice cream sundaes, and watched another movie. And I was like, oh, you would like to pay me mon money to watch a movie and eat ice cream sundaes? Yes, please, I would like that. And also, uh, ladybug footy pajamas. <laughs> calm down, guys, calm down. Uh, so that's gonna be me in two weeks. I'm pretty excited. A week and a half, I guess. Oh, it's almost Friday. A little more than a week. Time! It, it moves! Um, so it was Monday. I met with her, planned it all out. Uh, and then it was family night, and that was just nice. I always loved having time with my family. And then I had to do homework. Um, Tuesday, I normally have class in, like, at Widener, but the teacher switched it to online and abbreviated it. So I just sort of, like, rushed home after work and went online. Oops, excuse me. And had class for an hour, which was pretty great. And then I snuggled with Claire. And that was even better. Then it was time to go to sleep. Jacob texted that he had come back from his Aikido class. He's kind of... Aikido is all about, like, the real opponent in Aikido is yourself. Great. That's great. I'm, I'm very glad. Uh, so I went over to his place to sleep. Uh, and then... Yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday I had practicum. I'm just stopping to fix my sock. And I met, I finally met with all three residents now. And I have, I have a really nice rapport with one of them. And I have a pretty good rapport with another. And the third one likes special things. And I am like, and, and likes having attention paid to her. So she is on her best behavior with me so far. Uh, but all of her staff members are like, wow, she like didn't have a temper tantrum. That's pretty impressive, so I guess I'll find out more about this residence. I did, I did tell a resident yesterday that maybe she should pick just one boyfriend and not date two boyfriends, because dating two people is hard. I mean, I wasn't lying, but I was very entertained at my urging a person. Yeah, so that. Uh, and then I was, I... They have a dance, a bi-weekly dance from 7 to 9, and I went to like observe the behaviors of the three residents that I'm working with. Well, one of them doesn't like to make dances, so two of the residents that I'm working with. Um, because the staff members consider some of their behaviors problem behaviors at the dances, and I wanted to observe them so I could understand a little bit more about what they were saying. So I, I finished working around 5.30 or 6, and the dance didn't start till 7, so I like got myself a little bit lost in this residential neighborhood until I found a strip mall. Um, I think there's also, I think like 
nearby to the facility, there's also a mall called the Springfield Mall. Because I told Cassie, my site supervisor, uh, you know, Google Maps said there's a Chipotle at the mall. She was like, the mall is really far, like why would you do that? I think there's a Chipotle by the subway, which was where I was talking about. Um, strip mall, mall. Uh, and then I came back to observe the dance and it was a waste of my time because the staff members, they're in different cottages, they're colored cottages. The staff members in the cottages where the residents that I'm working with are, just didn't bring their ladies to the dance. They just didn't do it. Um, it really stinks. That is not cool of them at all. And like, I don't, I don't know anything about the politics of this place. So I, you know, obviously there's nothing I can do about it. But my site supervisor and the recreation director were like, no worries in a fuss, this isn't okay. And I wonder if, I mean, my site supervisor hasn't gone since summer, so maybe it's like slowly trickled down and no one said anything to them. So they thought they were getting away with it or something. Not wanting to put in the extra work of taking the residents to a dance, which is on campus. I mean, whatever, I still, again, I don't know the politics. I can't like speak to what's going on with these staffers. It was a little bit frustrating that I, you know, wasted four hours of my night waiting for something that didn't happen. Uh, and now I'm doing it again in two weeks because I still want to observe those behaviors. Um, and then I went home and was very tired and then Kenny came over. Once I was already asleep, they, they showed up at like 11 and they were like, oh, I wish you'd told me you were going to sleep, I wouldn't have come over. And I was like, it's, it's like 11.30 right now, I'm not sure how late you thought I was going to stay up. Uh, oh, I'm at the train station. I love you. We continue to talk about watching videos for reasons. Um, but that's everything. Bye!